Okay, welcome back to part five of this Walking Dead series. Um, I don't know who was there for part four, but if you haven't seen it, please go back and watch it. It was just, the, the episode itself was absolutely insane. And it was kind of the finale to episode two. So we're about to go into episode three now. Obviously, we had all the issues with the, the farm folk and obviously the killing of Lily's dad, who, well, let's say killing, he may have already been dead, we don't know. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to get stuck straight into episode three, but part five of the Walking Dead series. So let's see where, see where it goes. Here we go. Oh, it's going to do a little recap, I think, isn't it? Let's have a look. Is it going to get previously, sick? previously on The yeah. Walking Dead? Yeah. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this I guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. That's it. We shouldn't take this. Who's this guy? The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them. You'll be safe. Mm -hmm. She was a creepy one. Obviously, she's dead, but why is she, what, is, is she Clementine's mom? I don't think she is. I've kind of pondered on this a little bit. If she was Clementine's mum, she wouldn't be wearing the store uniform, which was just based down the road from there. Completely different states. Doesn't make sense. find out, I guess. Ooh, episode three, baby. Let's get it. Freshly brewed cup of coffee, too. Okay, so we're still in the same town at the minute. Guess so, we're just on a supply run. Oh, damn, chopper seen better days. This looks like it was potentially looks a like military. this is our lucky day. Uh, barricade. Mm, yeah, let's not Maybe. get too optimistic. They tend to take that. us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. It's crazy to think how many times you could replay this game and just have completely different outcomes. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing uh, up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? <sighs> we should go. go. The motel's run its course, and yeah. it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Agreed. I don't think in an apocalypse scenario you just end up staying in one location. Eventually you're going to run dry on resources. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Hmm. Wait, that's not... So much for the military. It's not the same pharmacy, is it, that... Brother worked in. Okay. 
guess this is going to be our. Uh... Hmm. Looks like it still works. Okay. But Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. Mm. We did kill her dad. <laughs> oh dear. That it was crazy episode. Absolutely crazy. I do kind of wish I could go back and change some of those decisions, but I guess that's the the beauty of the game is that it, it forces you to to panic and make those decisions in a split second. So we'll uh, we'll deal with the cards we've been dealt. What's this one quick before we use that winch. Well, that was just looks a, like she's had it. A lot of noise. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. Hmm. This could potentially make a lot of noise. Let's let's explore some other I'm options first. Off fallen concrete. Huh. Hmm. What are you hmm in about? Huh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Seems such a pointless bit of instruction. Oh, hold up, hold up. Alright, so we've got some we've got some flat tires here. It's completely flat. So the, the winch will pull it, regardless. Um Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either gonna have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are gonna have to get a hell of a lot longer. I, I think we're gonna it. have to um I'll keep looking. Run the risk here of uh making a lot of noise. See as we pull this, all of that's gonna crumble. If anyone's inside the like walkers. Do you know what I mean? It's um Okay, I say uh I say we do it. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Hang on. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for her, mm. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. <laughs> Shit! Okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't oh, any worse. Shot, wasn't you it? could've... Such a waste of ammo. It's a girl. We have to help her. Help. Yes, I didn't There's no getting to her. We gotta anything. do something. Oh no, she's been bit. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones oh, we can't see. She decisions. stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh God. Oh God. Um, what do we do? Do we do we, we could put her out of misery? But then they all come to us. Oh crap. The bad thing is, in reality, in real life, I wouldn't have made that decision. If I say that, I've, I've never been in an apocalypse, so... I mean, bro, we 
just let her, left her to turn. I should have shot her. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Dude, like... Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Jesus Christ, it doesn't help with uh, your decision, does it? We just sit there listening to her like screaming now, she's getting eaten alive. What else we got? What else we got? Seven items. I'm guessing this is like a speed round. We've got to get as much as we can, as quick as we can. She's gone. There's not much time now. Food's always good. I don't know what that was I just grabbed. Bandages. She, she was gonna die anyway, like, don't get me wrong. Still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Come on, Kenny. back at camp no well that's a shooting range and we know who uses a uh, arrow oh, hang on those camp oh, bless her you're back Ben found some stickers in a drawer and I put them on my walkie hey sweet pea that's me cons. I'll find you in a minute Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Oh, come on, big Kenny. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! He's piling into an RV with you two. After what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't mm. boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? 
We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not uh, hearing it. I think we should leave. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. We just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! What? And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Mm. Man, it's actually pretty really tough to make head. some of these decisions. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Well, she likes with him. her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Ooh. Oh, she even looked back. She's got the feels. Okay. So. Let's go make some decisions and do some stuff um, all right, let's see what's going on here first hey you two how are you doing we're okay just having a little spat we all carry guns now and I don't like it it's the way it's gotta be we got I it, know yeah. but I'm not getting used to it I'm sorry how are you Lee You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we mm. can't turn on each other any more than we have. Who's stealing shit? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Kat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Okay, mm bruh. Mm. Let's go upstairs. Let's go... Let's go have ourselves a little chat. Oh, the music's changed. No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. What? <laughs> You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. 
Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. She's got a point. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Looks like we're gonna go tell some people. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. She's got now, the feels. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Mm. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high rise apartment and hand me a full bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Okay. Um, I think Kenny's probably going to have to be the first one we talk to. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil <laughs> do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. <laughs> what? Uh, I gotta man. ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Damn. Hmm. It must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Yeah, respect that. I knew he'd be cool about it, to be fair. It's better to just get this stuff off our chest, I guess. Let's just go and tell everyone. Although, um, Lily does know, right? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? Destroyed he the smashed brain. his head in. <gasps> oh, snap. Is that now going to cause problems for me and Kenny? Like, did he not tell her? Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Yeah. Fair play. I mean, at least she understands about the whole prison thing. Like they just said, well, this guy and my wife. And she's like, yep, say no more. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Alright. Come on in. Let's go tell Lily. Where are the kids, by the way?
I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. Oh, don't let your damn and taking things. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. Oh, no. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. It's just a few things. It's not a big deal. Bullshit, it's not. An attitude like that puts you on the top of the suspect list. Uh, a mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. No, That's don't get the kid involved. Because if it's his dad, it I can't be breaking them up. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. Oh my goodness. Now I've had that conversation, can I tell her about the other thing? Hey. Find anything? Yeah. I need to tell you something. What is it? I killed someone before all of this. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? Okay. Fair play. Anything listeners. else? No. Okay. Alright, so we've had some conversations. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom. Broke it? Got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, okay, then. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm, uh, I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? Why would I joke about that? I don't know. <laughs> um, wow. You're a part of this group, and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't, I mean. I know what you meant. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Cool, cool. Right. Let's do some snooping. Anything in here? What we got there? There's some broken glass on the ground there. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna match up, right? Oh! Why is there an X on the wall? There's something drawn there. Chalk. Hmm. Chalk. Paint. Hmm. Duck. A clue. 
maybe. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe oh, it's don't let it be sign. Clementine. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. <laughs> That's uh, not what we wanted, eh? Nothing else around here. So now we've got to go and investigate Clementine. Fuck's sake, that's not what we want. Can't be her, right? Well, I say that, just because she's using it doesn't mean she was the one that did it. Anyone that's got access to that chalk. Wait, where is she? Am I going mad? Um... She's there. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. I swear we just saw it blue? on the No, no, it's, it's literally okay. right there on the table. Psst, me. Oh, he's got something. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Could it even be him? Cool! More chalk. Has someone set up a deal with the bandits? Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. <laughs> hmm. Stay inside the gate. Yes, there's nothing I else will, to talk I to will. him about. Here too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. What we got? Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Maybe because we're giving them antibiotics. That would be my theory in all of this. No. Dude. Really? God damn. It's got to be more than one clue out there. Can't just be looking at an arrow on a wall. Ah, right, here we go. There's a grate down there. Oh, snap. It's a bag of medicine. Son of a bitch. Leaving them for the bandits uh, to keep them at bay, and I'm going to go with the vet, Kenny's wife. You haven't come up with anything, have you? 
I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You mean. die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? No, no. Yo, Gotta man, get your out, there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! The vet's been doing it because she doesn't want to use the guns. Enough of this She's bullshit. been trying to keep him at bay and create peace. Stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we got her! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! What? How did I miss that? Oh no. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Choose to save someone's life. Where is he? He's right behind that van. Get your ass out of there. Where is he? Missed. Gotcha. Hurry, come on. Oh no, there's a there's a walker right there. Get inside there. the on. RV. It's gonna be okay. Go. <laughs> Us out on this one. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. 
You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates Carly wanted me to be honest about the whole thing. I think she's innocent, so like, she wouldn't. Look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down. We'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. I got a bad feeling. That Lily's going a little bit mad. I'm, I'm to the point I'm even questioning her. She set this whole thing up to blame it on someone? Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. Thing we should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? I'm not doing this. Come on, Lily. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Oh, man, Kenny, Lily's starting to piss what's me What's it going to be? Just I know give there's me a potentially a traitor here, but like... You have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah. This there is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. He's... Let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? <gasps> what the actual? Drop it. Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ken, Lee! Why? Why? <sighs> I need to fucking question her. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. 
Whatever. Just get in. What the actual... He was just about to fall in love. What a bitch. Lee, a word, please. Oh, that, if you if you tell me it was you, I'm gonna go mad. What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in a group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. His game. Well, oh, too many emotions are going on right now. Duck is bit. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? didn't though thanks something up ahead yes it's I'm assuming duck was actually bitten right damn it roads blocked now we got to deal with this Is there any way to get around to it? Train right across Doesn't the, look the like crossing. It. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with me. Why don't you and I go look around? So why is yeah, he not everyone else yet? relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? 
Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. I thought he was uh, being serious for a second then. <laughs> okay. I think this is a good opportunity to end part five. We've gone through quite a lot of emotions so far as it is. So, so yeah, we'll leave this one here. When we come back, we are going to explore the train in part six. So again, let me know how you're enjoying this series down in the comments. And as always, peace out. See you in the next one.